Steamboat, the world's tallest geyser, erupts with a 400-foot water show. In the world of geysers, none are bigger or more powerful than Steamboat. But it's hard to witness its eruptions. Before 2018, it erupted every other year. In 2020, it erupted 48 times. Last weekend's eruption was the seventh of the year. Witnessing a Steamboat geyser eruption is on the bucket list of many visitors to Yellowstone National Park. Kathleen Rinkovich Stubby was lucky enough to cross it off last weekend when the world's tallest active geyser spewed hot water and steam 400 feet into the sky. Rinkovich Stubby captured video of the unusual event. The video shows a column of steam shooting out of the geyser, with a sound reminiscent of a jet engine. Steamboat Geyser is the undisputed king of the Norris Geyser Basin and is currently in its most active period in recorded history. Unlike the predictable Old Faithful, visitors will have to be extremely lucky to see Steamboat in all its glory, but there are signs that can improve the odds. Mike Poland, a research geophysicist at the Cascades Volcano Observatory and the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, confirmed that Steamboat Geyser erupted at 2.46 p.m. on October 8. He said Rinkovich Stubby's video was taken during the second and much longer phase of a typical steamboat eruption. Steamboat behaves in an interesting way, he said. The first few minutes of the eruption are what we call the water phase, when the water shoots out, 300 to 400 feet high. After 10 to 30 minutes, the geyser begins to enter a steam phase, which can last up to 24 hours with decreasing intensity. Poland has witnessed the steam phase of the steamboat eruption and describes a thundering sound of steam as it exits the geyser's pipe. The steam phase serves as a time stamp for the video, suggesting that it must have been recorded shortly after the water phase ended, given the intensity of the steam. The water phase is spectacular, but the steam phase is equally spectacular, he said. Each geyser in Yellowstone has its own characteristics and eruption schedule. Unlike Old Faithful, Steamboat Geyser erupts on its own erratic schedule, and no one knows why. Poland said part of the reason Steamboat is so erratic may be because it is not isolated, like Old Faithful and Lone Star Geyser. Its unpredictability makes it a typical geyser. There is some speculation that highly isolated geysers would have more periodic or predictable behavior. Old Faithful is fairly isolated from its surroundings and erupts very reliably. Most geysers tend to be more erratic, and some, like Steamboat, are completely random, he said. That's another possible explanation for the frequency of eruptions, but scientists don't yet know enough to definitively answer the $64,000 question, as Poland calls it, about how geysers work and what makes Steamboat erratic and Old Faithful so timely. When will Steamboat erupt again? One can expect the next eruption, because it could happen at any time. The next eruption could also take several years. Fortunately for geyser enthusiasts, Steamboat is more active than ever. The October 8th eruption was the seventh recorded in 2023, 43 days after its last eruption on August 25th. Before 2018, the average period between eruptions for Steamboat was two years. Then, the geyser erupted 32 times in 2018 and 48 more times in 2019 and 2020. Poland said Steamboat is experiencing a period of frequent eruptions. One eruption was recorded in the 1960s and another in the 1980s. Despite extensive research and observation of Yellowstone National Park and its geysers, the reasons behind these periods of high activity remain a mystery.
There was a study done earlier this year that tried to answer that question, he said. They looked at rainfall data, earthquake data, groundwater levels, subsurface chemistry, and thermal emissions. And they didn't see any signs of change. Another possible explanation for the frequent eruptions is a change in the geyser's plumbing. Something has changed in the piping system of the hot water. Maybe a new outlet has opened up, or another outlet has narrowed a little bit, which has increased the pressure to trigger more frequent eruptions. We don't really know the answer to that question yet, he said.